In this lesson, we are going to look at the meaning of the word gradient and learn how to calculate it. All skiers know that ski runs are colour coded. Blue is for gentle runs, red is for medium, and black is for steeper runs. Ski runs are categorised by the gradient. Just by looking, we can tell which run is steep and which is gentle. We are going to learn how to calculate the gradient numerically. To calculate gradient, we begin by drawing a right angled triangle with the slope as the hypotenuse. The gradient is found by dividing the vertical height by the horizontal distance. We use the formula gradient equals vertical over horizontal. Let's look at an example. A new regulation states that the gradient of all ramps into a building must be less than 0 0.08333. An existing ramp is 40 centimetres high and has a horizontal distance of 300 centimetres. Does this ramp satisfy the new regulations? Write down the formula. Gradient equals vertical height over horizontal distance. Substitute 40 for the vertical height and 300 for the horizontal distance. Divide 40 by 300 to get 0 0.1333333. This ramp does not satisfy the regulation since its gradient of 0 0.1333333 is greater than regulation gradient of 0 0.08333. The gradient is just another term for the slope of the line. All lines which rise from left to right are said to have a positive gradient. It's easy to tell whether a line is steep, medium or gentle by looking at it. However, as we saw in the previous example, it is useful to be able to work out a numerical value for the gradient. To calculate the gradient of a straight line, we need to use a grid. Mark two points on the line and draw a line from each to make a right angled triangle. We use the letter M to represent the gradient. So our formula can be abbreviated to M equals V divided by H. Begin by counting the vertical squares in our triangle. In this example there are 2, so V equals 2. Now count the horizontal squares. Again there are 2, so H equals 2. M equals V divided by H. M equals 2 divided by 2. M equals 1. Our line has a gradient of 1. Let's look at another example. Again, plot two points on the line and draw a line from each to make a right angled triangle. Count the number of vertical and horizontal squares to get V and H. V equals 1 and H equals 4. M equals V divided by H. So, M equals 1 divided by 4. We can leave our answer as a fraction, so the gradient equals 1 quarter. Let's take a look at one final example. 
Plot the points and draw a right angled triangle. V equals 4 and H equals 2. M equals V divided by H. So, M equals 4 divided by 2. Therefore, our gradient M equals 2. All lines which fall from left to right are said to have a negative gradient. We use exactly the same approach to calculate lines which have a negative gradient as we did to calculate lines with a positive gradient. Again, we need to use a grid and mark two points on our line. We then draw two lines to make a right angled triangle. Next, count the number of vertical and horizontal squares. V equals 3. H equals negative 2. Notice that H is negative because we are counting in the opposite direction, from right to left. Remember the formula we use for calculating the gradient is M equals V divided by H. So, M equals negative 3 over 2. Let's look at a second example. In this case, V equals 2 and H equals negative 3. Again, H is negative because we are counting the squares from right to left. M equals V divided by H. M equals negative 2 over 3, or negative 2 thirds. Let's look at one final example. V equals 4 and H equals negative 2. M equals 4 divided by negative 2. So the gradient M equals negative 2. In this lesson, we have seen that gradient is a measure of the slope of a line. The gradient can be positive or negative and is calculated by using the formula gradient equals vertical height divided by horizontal distance or m equals v divided by h.